Normally, I'm speaking to the divine feminines, but not this time. Divine masculines, I am here for you. And I'm here as me, not representing the divine feminines as a collective. This is just my way of looking at things, my way of wanting to extend some compassion and love your way. Because as I understand it, to at least the group of divine masculines that I'm meant to address, you are going through it. If you think that your divine feminines are taking any pleasure in this for what may be karma because of past actions or words to them, at least from my standpoint, you would be incorrect. At least for me, I take no pleasure in any of this. But I don't get a say in karma. But I would say this. If your divine feminines are getting pleasure out of seeing your suffering or somehow saying ha ha, that'll teach you or trying to add insult to injury or making you feel worse about what's happening. Probably this is a karmic and not your divine counterpart or your divine counterpart has a hell of a lot of work yet to do if they think that getting revenge is any part of this twin flame journey. Since you have been doing the work, have been healing a lot, you are now able to look back at what has happened in the past and you're feeling deep regret. Here's my theory, and again, this is all just me about regret. It's pretty much useless. You can't go back and change anything. All you can do is decide that you're not going to do whatever is making you feel regret again. If you learn from it, it actually is useful. If you're just holding on to it to beat yourself up, then nah. It's just a form of torture that you're holding on to. I want to remind you that all these things that you regret were scripted out. They were all laid out. The triggers for both counterparts. These things that you are feeling so much regret over were required for you to fulfill your commitment there and vice versa. All of this is based on love for the other to bring about the healing that will bring about eventual happiness instead of suffering. Puts a little different spin on it if you think of it that way. You're doing this out of love just as your divine feminines are doing what is triggering you out of love. Eventually, this is going to get us to a place where we are healed enough to experience life in a way that we probably never thought would be possible. Because what the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines have in common is a lot of trauma, a lot of pain and suffering, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-hatred. But you're choosing to heal this stuff. We don't want to stay in pain and suffering anymore. And we're doing what we have to to get out of it. So regret, as long as you learn from it, then it can be a good thing. Otherwise, forget the regret. If you are telling yourself that you are not worthy of your divine feminines, or that you don't have enough to offer. You need to be reminded, divine feminines have loved you from the start, practically. Even when you were doing all those eh, not so cool things.
So you see, we love you. We love your soul, your essence, your spirit. We don't expect you to be perfect any more than you expect us to be perfect. And if you think about it, if we loved you way back when, before you took on all this healing, before you started to grow and change, we could only love you more. Now, I don't want to say that means that we hang around forever. I can't promise that your divine feminines aren't going to be moving on and looking for that high-level soulmate that is supposed to be the backup plan. But you shouldn't be doing your healing just for your divine feminines anyway. It should be for you. We just love you. And we don't expect you to come to us totally healed because healing never stops for any of us. We don't expect you to come to us bearing gifts because you, your presence in our lives again, would be the gift. We don't expect you to come to us spilling your guts and every emotion that you're feeling until you're ready or unless you're ready. We just want you to come home. 